The following announcement has been paid for by the Major World Order. Welcome everyone to a brand new edition of MWO presents in your house. With Mike Russell, Jake Wyatt, Crazy Collection, Rare Figures, Awesome Displays, Joy World Doors, from Major Mars. Hello, everybody, and welcome to MWO Presents In Your House. I am the big Jake Boski, the Sean Kemp of wrestling figure collecting, the major Mad Hatter. Jake, don't call me Bray Wyatt. Welcome, everybody, to In Your House. Uh, what's up, guys? I'm your other host, the Hulk Hogan of Hulk Hogan Collecting, Michael Apuma. Jake, before we start with anything else, I just want to say happy belated birthday. Uh, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. How's it feel to be uh, 25? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pushing real close to 40 right now. So well, um, you, you look 25. You look like you're in your fun. 20s. Oh, I appreciate you, man. That's the, that's the best part. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, plastic surgery, it works well. <laughs> major fitness challenge, baby. Yeah, baby. Absolutely. Um, yeah, speaking of major fitness challenge, real quick, I just want to give a quick plug to Workhorse Fitness. Make sure you visit workhorsefitness.com. Um, and use code MWO10 to save yourself 10% at checkout for all your major fitness challenge needs. Yes, I just actually got those fat burners and yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, using them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They do. I mean, I, I used them for quite a long time and they really contributed and helped me lose quite a bit of weight when I was when I was dropping. So, you know, give them a try, just try them out and, uh, and they, they really work. They really do. That's great. All right, so... I got I got some birthday presents here. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Who, yeah. Who, somebody sent you something. Uh, huh? Some guy named M. Dot Lapuma sent me something <laughs> in the mail. So um, my daughter got me this uh, little coffee mug, dog dad. Oh, uh, look at that! Thinking out of that today, having my little my little French vanilla cappuccino because I'm fancy. A little shot of Bailey's in there? Ah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Mike, uh, not only did he send me this beautifully wrapped gift, but he sent me for the first time ever a card. Normally he writes on a piece of paper, like a crumpled up piece of paper. <laughs> that, that was done on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I appreciate the card, man. It was great. Nice gesture. So uh, I'm excited. This is, uh, I don't know what it is. I, I started opening it. I was trying to peek inside, but Mike was like, oh, you got to open it on the show. I was like, all right. So I, I don't know what's in here, so I'm going to open it up and we'll, we'll take a look and see. All right, we're going to get a live reaction. Dude, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Happy birthday, brother. Dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro. Happy birthday, man. You need it, dude. That. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, bro. Mike, dude, you, you did not have to do that, man. Of course not, brother, but I wanted to. Oh, dude, thank you so much. No problem, man. Happy wow. birthday. Wow. Wow, look at that. Giant Gonzalez, mint on my first mint on card has, bro, as an adult. I guess I actually I had two of these when I was a kid. But, I know, right? You, you know, yeah. it's funny. We all had the whole set mock until <laughs> right, we opened yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> literally, literally. Damn. Oh, my God, dude. This is amazing. So this is going on weekly purchases for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, well, I, I, weekly. I gifts. hope it gets picked. Oh, it's going to have to. That is beautiful, man. Oh, my God. I love it. Well, thank yeah, you, bro. Really. No oh, problem, this is bro. going right in my living room right here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> my wife should have come home like uh that's going i'm like fuck you it's fair <laughs> uh, shit no that's awesome thank you brother uh, no wow. problem bro damn thanks brother no, cheers no doubt. yeah man cheers happy birthday i wish i could have gave it to you in person yeah man i, I probably would have cried but uh <laughs> damn, beautiful. man i can't believe it i finally dude i well, you just opened up a new the floodgates now. now I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> what better uh, way to start? Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Mike, for that wonderful gift, man. That's uh, right here, brother. Thank you. <sighs> All right, so, so guys, uh, we're doing a little special uh, episode today. It's actually gonna be a two-parter. We're gonna do uh, Mike and I's top ten favorite sneakers that we own. 
now so there is correct. yeah because there there's a whole bunch that i don't own that i'd rather have but uh <laughs> <laughs> but um so let, let's go ahead and get into it so today we're just going to do uh our first five which is actually 10 through six we're going to do a countdown and uh we're just going to go down through the list and uh we're going to Hold them up, show them to you guys. Uh, you know, you can check them out. We'll describe them to you and explain it. And, uh, you know, it's just a little bit different than what we normally do as far as, you know, action figures and things like that or interviewing a, a guest. It's just, this is just a little passion project that Mike and I have been talking about for a while that we wanted to do. And, uh, I, you know, even if you don't collect sneakers, it's still cool to check out and the collecting aspect of it still means a lot because, you know, there was a lot of sneakers we had as kids that bring back those memories just like this does you know what i mean right. like like i because they I, they re-release yeah. them and exactly and it's it's cool like the retros like you know stuff like that so it's it's very cool so um it's, so mike it's all let's... in the same realm mm -hmm. and uh you know we know Absolutely. there's a lot of sneakerheads in the group so for sure for sure so what better way to uh commemorate the sneakerhead community with uh with our top 10 kicks so, uh, Mike, let's go ahead and start with your yeah. number you 10. You want me to start off? Yeah, All right, baby. Let's go. Let's, All right. let's, let's see number what you 10 got. in my collection are the most, oh, they just fell, the most comfortable <laughs> sneakers I've ever worn. Oh, they're not mock anymore. The, Ooh. <laughs> the LeBron 12 Datus. Yes. Uh, they came out in 2014. Just right so when know. LeBron went I, back to Cleveland. I do have some show notes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, they got some pods on the bottom. I don't know if these are the first sneakers to have them. They yes, were. Yes, I, I do clean my soles. We could get into that next episode. But uh, yeah, man, walking in these is like walking in pillows. Mm -hmm. Walking on pillows, I should say. So these are LeBron 12 Dad. It's 2014. And I actually looked up the prices on StockX. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to buy them now, they are $750. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is why you, you got to get them while they come out, or at least try to get them. Right. Because uh, I probably paid one fifty, probably for LeBron. Yeah. Like one eighty, something like uh, that. Oh, they were one eighty to two hundred when they when they released. Right. I, I remember when those the twelves came out and LeBron had came back to Cleveland. I was like, I have to get these because honestly, the LeBron twelve is probably my favorite lebron shoe just the the style of it it's just it's just a beautiful shoe it's well designed it's really comfortable yes. and it's just it's i just love that style um in fact you're gonna see a different colorway uh you know coming in my in my uh coming up soon but yeah that's i i, I did not have that colorway but i love that you know just the the colors pop on that with the with the black um that really definitely really a good. uh a summertime shoe. Oh yeah. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna say this now, guys. You gotta clean your soul. Absolutely. You, you, you gotta, you gotta represent the clean kicks. Yeah. Especially oh, if yeah. you're single. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I, I gotta throw this out there. All right. <laughs> Women are looking at your feet. <laughs> yeah. You we can't cut. <laughs> Now, if you're a guy, you're not you're not looking at women's feet unless you're into that thing, I guess. Right. But I'm you know, looking at other guys' feet too. To be honest. With you. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I went I went to the bar last weekend and a dude had a pair of uh, LeBron eight South Beaches on, and I was like, oh, oh shit, bro. You know, I, I don't even know what his face looked like, but I was just staring at his shoes the whole time. And so you know, but, but uh, yeah, you, you got to take care of your kicks. Right, you 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 can't go out there with white sneakers that are now all black, scuffed up and yeah, got yeah. mud and dirt on them, and somebody stepped on them and all that. It, it don't, don't matter. Not it enough. don't matter. It don't matter your age. You got to come correct with the kicks. Absolutely, I'm throwing that out there. I agree all with right. that hundred percent. Jake, what do you got at number ten, all brother? Right. So number ten for me, I also have a LeBron, but this is the LeBron sixteen Super Bron. So oh. it's kind of modeled after the LeBron three. Uh, okay. The, the LeBron three came out in this colorway, you know, super bronze Superman. So these are, these are dead stock. Never been worn. I mean, you can nice. tell, you can tell they're just crisp, but, um, these right. Are, so for everybody that doesn't know dead stock means never been worn straight yeah. out the box. Still, right. Still yeah. I mean, they're mocked they're, if you want to yeah. say <laughs> Yep. Now this is the return of the lion. Nice. On there, and then we also have the original LeBron logo on the side. Oh wow! Nice. So, um, and then on the back here, on the top, 
So, uh, or three, I'm sorry. So, uh, cause it's just a, just a, uh, just a beautiful shoe. I, I love this colorway, but, uh, now just so you know, with my LeBrons, every time I buy the high top, whatever number it is, I also buy the low top. And if it's a certain special edition, I get the matching one for it. So this, uh, next one I'm going to show you, this is just the complimentary one to this. This is the LeBron 16 low super brown but it's an inverted colorway oh okay so same thing dead stock never been worn um now it's obviously you know compared side to side it's a little bit different you know you can see that but right. um but still just a really cool shoe. i just like having them together you know it's there it's, it's like the, uh, the hogan colors there that's right but <laughs> on the, something to differentiate this i don't know if you can see right there What's 2000, that there? 2003 mvp Oh wow! And that's nice on the inside. That. So I and I literally just saw that for the first time when I just picked these up a couple minutes ago. Get out of here! Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, I've, I've had these things for like three or four years. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, just uh, now these are not that comfortable. I, I did. I, I think I slipped these on just to try them on, but I never like wore them out or anything like that. If I remember, I know that I is a tried problem. These on. Yeah, but some of the some of the best looking sneakers are not comfortable. Oh yeah, but still, nonetheless, just a really cool colorway. And you know, you throw a pair of jeans on with like a white T-shirt or something like that's another right. thing I really like to do. I like to match my kicks to my shirts. And then, but sometimes when you do that, you look a little goofy. You know, it's just like yeah, you have like a neon green shirt and a neon green pair of shoes. It's like <laughs> look like a fucking dork. So you know, just be you can just wear like all black with some crazy kicks. You know what I mean? You don't have to right. go completely crazy so right uh, the 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 uh the neon t-shirt doesn't have to match the neon that's right that's yes. right absolutely so all right Mike, all right. you got for number nine for number nine i'm gonna go with the jays Ooh. the jordan three black cement nice uh these were re-released in 2018 for the 30th anniversary uh tinker hayfield hayfield hatfield uh, hatfield uh, design these with the elephant print <laughs> and uh these are in heavy rotation as you can see clean oh, yeah. soles but they are worn yep because these are in heavy rotation very comfortable i just slip them on oh yeah that's a uh, I, I really don't tie my sneakers at all i just slip them on and no i there was this one guy this. you remember when we went to philly there was some guy wearing oh, a pair a of jordans tight. and he yeah, had, he had them that all the way i mean zipped up his ankles it looked like they were tied with zip ties they were i'm surprised <laughs> I, he still has feet after that insert that clip now <laughs> I, I was gonna get to that because i might have i might have a jordan one to show that but um <laughs> Yeah, and uh, if you wanted to buy these now, they have 500 buy. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, and I believe these, that's uh, Eamon Merrigan's favorite Jordan. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. And uh, yeah. every time I wear them, when I see him, he mentions that. So, yeah. Eamon, you, you got to get these, bro. Yeah. Well, oh, actually, what size are you? Maybe I'll sell you these. No. Anyway, <laughs> that's my number. That's my number nine. Beautiful. I love that. So here's uh, another newer one for my number nine. Uh, these are the LeBron 18 LeBron Old Palmers. Mm, so that is a summer colorway right there. Yes, I mean, as soon as, these are the first sneaker that I bought when I moved to Florida because they just released on Nike.com, and I love the original uh, LeBron Old Palmers, but I just I never had a pair. I remember and, those. And there, there's a couple different alternate colorways there i believe the 12s if i'm not mistaken they they always come in a low and they were like normally they're like this kind of like i call it like moon yellow it's kind of like dull yellow with like the right to make like the, the, the lemonade right look. exactly exactly but they came they did have a inverted colorway where the shoe was actually green and with the and then they had the yellow hints it actually looked really cool yes um, I remember but that. It, it was kind of tough to get that one these um these were i'm surprised these didn't really hit like i thought they were going to you know because like it's kind of cool when they come back out with the old colorway and the lebronald's uh palmers had not been around for seven years i think six seven years so it's you know but it's a great shoe i mean you know it's, it's Are those, these, uh dead stock or you've worn them 
I've worn these once. Oh, worn wow. them once. Okay. yeah. I mean, they're but same thing, dude. I keep them clean, you know. Yeah. I mean, I wore them all day too. It wasn't just like for ten minutes. And these are the Nike Reacts as well. So we got the you know the air sole and all that. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this is kind of cool on inside. See the uh, the glass of uh, ice oh, yes, tea with yes, the lemonade. Yes, yes. That's awesome, bro. So I that's that. that's just yeah, just ice the kind cubes of and the lemon. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that, and that's like the little things in these sneakers that it's just it's fucking cool because you know you're just it's like oh that's a cool shoe, but then just that little detail. It's like, oh exactly. man, you know, it just it just makes it pop and it's just unique. So um, I do have the uh, they came with two different sets of strength shoe strings as well. Uh, it's got the uh, white and then the orange. I'm probably I thought about put popping the orange in, but the green really looks good on it. Oh, looks soft, great, bro. Yeah, I think I'll probably just leave it the way they are. But still, just a really that is, that is uh, walking around South Beach with those things. Oh, the, the, absolutely, the nice little white t-shirt on. Yeah, a little cocktail in your hand, and you know, <laughs> have, a, have a good day there. Uh, <laughs> all right, people. All right, number seven. So number. Oh, I'm sorry. Number eight. No, number, number eight. eight. Yeah. These I also wear a lot. Heavy rotation uh, is the Kyrie One All Stars. Came out in 2015, mm -hmm. and uh, the All Star game was in Brooklyn. So th these were actually uh, supposed to be uh, designed over an abandoned subway station. I'm not really sure how, but whatever. <laughs> uh, you can see the soles are a little yellowing. That happens. This is what they originally were supposed to look like, but I still keep them clean. And uh, heavy rotation. Kyrie ones are great. They got. The, I was just going to uh, say that the Kyrie ones spikes. are now on the back are the spikes start. Is the paint starting to wear off on those a little bit? Well, here, here's my problem. This is my left one, right? Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you can, but you can see the spikes wearing out. Yep. You see that mm -hmm. on the right one nothing you want to know why because when you take your home, shoe off <laughs> i go like that i yep. go like that and then this one i do with my sock right <laughs> so don't do that people right right <laughs> that's how you fuck up your, your kicks but i love right. the uh i don't know if you can make it out on camera it's almost the like diamond plate. Little, yeah like bro. diamond plate yeah uh it, it's awesome man the mesh Beautiful super shoe. comfortable yeah, the Kyrie and, uh, ones are probably my favorite Kyries that ever came out. I mean, the, the twos were great, but they had the strap across. That yeah, was, I don't like. It the made strap. them a little tight, and uh, but yeah, these bro, you, you, you could wear these with uh, blue, with black, anything. the gray. The gray goes with anything, but uh, absolutely, yeah, man. Kyrie ones, yep. and these are now seven fifty. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so <laughs> um, obviously, as you guys are off. watching, yeah, as you guys are watching this, I'm going to be placing um just graphics of uh the shoe detail and what they're going for uh i, I look reason i'm not talking about my pricing on my shoes is just because i originally had a list this morning and i was telling mike before i literally changed it like six times before we got on i kept swapping shoes out because i have so many favorites you know but it's just i just i said fuck it and just went with these so i'll, I'll you guys will know what they're worth it's whatever yeah <laughs> i mean I, I i only have these notes because i couldn't sleep the other night and i and i right. did it at 4 30 in the morning <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right jake what do you got for number eight all right number eight uh going back to the bronze again <laughs> all right so i also have the lebron 12s witness yeah, they are. so nice. now these are dead stock as well i mean brand new uh yeah. 2014 so, dead stock yep. damn so bro. look at the carbon fiber love it yeah with the yellow and the red i mean these things are just awesome yeah same thing with the pods i mean super comfortable um just a great shoe and uh that uh you know we were able to witness the return of lebron to cleveland you can see right there cle nice right above the nike check so just cool again cool little details uh inside it just says you know it has lebron's logo and it just says the 12 um goes great, great with the jersey you have on right now yeah, it's all right <laughs> yeah but uh cool shoe super comfortable um you know it's just it's just such a great silhouette it really it's just it looks good on your feet you know so i'm gonna i might have to wear this one one day you know and that, that's the thing about being a sneakerhead like like right there that, that sneaker is six years old you still haven't worn it yeah and, and, and i mean and i'll it's... i'll lick it i'll lick the sole right now <laughs> 
but people, you know, some people that don't get it might think we're, we're crazy yeah. for that. It's we just, are crazy. We are. Cra- I mean, yeah, now don't get me yeah. wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I do have, a, I have a lot of a lot of sneakers, but I wear a lot of them too. But there is, I I, I would say probably, I probably wear forty percent of my collection. And it's not there's I don't think there's one pair that I wouldn't wear. It's just for whatever reason I didn't like I like I've thought about wearing these multiple times and like honestly I bought a uh, Roddy Piper hot rod t shirt I was gonna wear with this you know I figured okay. the colors go great and everything and I put it on and it was just too it matched too good you know what I'm gotcha. saying like I was talking about earlier I was wearing you know black shirt that says hot rod the black jeans and these it's just. Yeah, right. matches, you don't want to look, look like a basketball player. I look like a fucking dork. You know, I'm like, I'm like, oh, hey, look at me. You know, like I'm trying to show off, which realistically, yes, we are. We're trying to show off, but you got to do it subtly, and you got to you got to do it like you're not. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's that's one of the. These are just one of those shoes that honestly, a pair of jeans and a plain white t-shirt would look great with. You know, but I just, oh, definitely. You know, I just haven't done it so. I'd, I'd wear those with a nice pair of black jeans. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. All right, Mike, all right. What, we, what we got for number seven? Number seven. Talking about dead stock. Now these aren't from 2014, but uh, 2019. The Jordan Four Reds. Nice. Or black cement, whatever it goes by two different names. Still has the tag on it. Still has the friggin' thing. The laces yep. are tight. This yep. is almost how somebody was wearing that, that laces. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I can lick the bottom of these too. Yeah. They've been in my closet for three years. Yeah. Uh, they got the Nike Air yep. on the back, which is a big right. thing when it comes to. Yeah, because if, uh, if you have the Jumpman logo, it's. Correct. You know, I'm not going to get right. into that. I'm not. I'm not going to knock shoes. Um, you know, no, definitely you, not. You, you wear what you wear, but this, if you this wanna, makes a difference. It makes it legit, uh, as right. far as I'm concerned, because that's how they came out back when Jordan was playing. You know what I mean? Right. Do you, um, and then the re-releases these were also have, released on the 30th anniversary. Right. And then you know, some of the ones that have been re-released, they got the Jumpman logo on the back, which there's no problem with that, but it's just not the way they were. You know what I mean? Exactly. The real Jordans and, had the Nike logo on them, so. I mean, this brings back memories. This oh, brings yeah. back sixth grade. Uh, oh, yeah, man. Fifth grade, Nike Air, bro. Dude, yeah, you had a pair of Jordans with the Nike Air logo and an East Pack backpack, dude. You, you, were, you were the shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the uh, Trapper maybe, Keeper. You Trapper Keeper, too, with the... <laughs> maybe a, a, a nice Raiders or Hornets uh, yes. starter jacket. Oh, dude, I, I had a Phoenix Suns one. <laughs> oh, bro, jacket. it's crazy, right? That yeah, or the oh, yeah. Hurricanes. Yeah. Hurricanes, Miami yeah. Hurricanes. Oh yeah, everybody had the Miami Hurricanes, man, for sure. So uh, these right now on StockX go for six twenty five. Yep. Yeah. And dead stock, so. Oh yeah. There it is, baby. That's Beautiful my number. Yeah, I I love the fours. My number uh, seven. One day I'll wear them. Yeah, I love the fours. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm. You know, kind of like Mike. Uh, I see. I see. We have a lot of the same shoes, or at least the same <laughs> same silhouette. We have a, so we have a couple of things in common. Yeah, it, what's kind of funny <laughs> is like we like we didn't go over this. Like, oh, we're gonna do this and match up or anything like that. But I also I have the Jordan Three Tinker Hatfields. Nice. So these are what Justin Timberlake wore at the Super Bowl um, uh, halftime show. Right. So the the difference between the like the regular release Jordan threes, they did not have the Nike check on the side here. So um, right. these Let's were, see. you know, yep. how it was. No check. Yeah. And same thing. You got the Nike, Nike Air on the Air. back. You Correct. Know? I love how that's in red. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. And yeah, just those little hints of red, like on the tongue, and then the little, you know, uh, the elephant print. Yeah. But it's all in black. You know, oh, I see. Uh, okay, no, yeah. So yeah, the 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 top part is gray, and then this is just black, but it's just printed like printed on there. Now these, I I've worn the shit out of these, but they're a little dirty. I need to clean them. You can see a little bit, but they're still clean. You know what I mean? Uh, but got a little little creasing right here. But that's what happens when you're walking around and using them. Well, that, know, but uh, Jake, that I'm glad you brought that up. I was mm-hmm. just going to bring that up. Every every Jordan comes with one of these inserts. Yep. Save them. Yeah, put them right put back, back in. in. Yep. And look at that. 
particles. It, 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 it keeps it from it freezing, it. or yeah. it helps it from. Yeah, from it helps it. Freezing. Yeah, because if you don't have anything in there supporting it, it's just if if they are creased up, it's just going to get worse and worse. Even if you got like an old T-shirt or something, just stuff it up Socks. in the toe. Yeah, whatever. Just do that. Um, other little thing. Got the Nike. Those you know, are great, bro. Yeah, there. I love those. But yeah, I just I love this colorway. It's just it's clean. It's cl you can you can wear these with anything. Hell yeah. I mean, literally, a yellow T-shirt and black jeans. What you know, whatever. It just goes with. It. It's just a great casual all-around suit. Shoe, super comfortable and literally, same thing. I just, Slip I got right the, on, right? yeah, I got. I, now I just untie these a little bit because, but I normally just put that through and I just leave laces hanging. Slip it right on. It's great. Another. I, another I think little, that's why they're in heavy rotation with me too because they just go right so on. You know? There's yeah. No and work. Tinker Hatfield embroidered right there on nice. the top. You know, so great shoe. Um, these are probably going for a, a few bucks right now. I will put the um, description up. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to use StockX. Um, you know, it's not not always accurate, but uh, we're, we're close with there. So we'll, we'll right, go Stock, with that. StockX uh, is uh, it's fair market value. You know, know you, right. It fluctuates. Yeah, stock, you you, you yeah, go to that site. You, is, you uh, can put a bid in. You could put a bid in, and, and either the person accepts it or doesn't accept it. But you could also go to Flight Club, which right. is super expensive. Oh yeah. eBay, just make sure on eBay you're, you're getting the real, the real deal. Yeah, the real There's deal. A lot of fakes out there. Well, yeah, and even even through StockX, I mean, I've ordered through StockX before. All mine have been fine, but I've heard people get it. they've been verified authentic and they've got them and they're not. So oh, there, wow. there's some really good there's some really good fakes there, unfortunately. Uh, but but the good thing about it is if it does come back to fake, they they have a guarantee and they'll take care of it. Right. So. Because what what happens with StockX? If I'm selling a sneaker to Jake, I have mm -hmm. to send it to StockX. They check it out. And they verify put a tag it. on it. Yep. Verify it, and then they send it to Jake. So I don't just right. send it straight to Jake. So yep. at least you have a middleman to check it out. Yeah. Or you right. could actually go on Kicks on Fire. They sell yeah. some sneakers too. That they yeah. they have a good website. Yeah, there's a bunch right. of great great places to get get your kicks from. But uh, all right, this is Hell the yeah. uh, we're going to the last last guys for the day. Number six is. It was a hard one to get. My wife came through and got them when they came out. And these probably could have broke the top five, but like like we said before, I mean, it's top ten. So, it is the Jordan 1 Top 3s. Oh. <laughs> these came out in 2016. Beautiful, man. Uh-oh, Jake's frozen. Actually, you're frozen. Jake, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You're frozen, bro. Yes. Can you hear me? You're, yeah. All right. Can you hear? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's uh, it's uh, th three different colorways: the bread, the Chicago's, and, and the royal blue. blue. They yeah. also came with uh, blue laces and white laces. I kept the black one. Yeah. Uh, soles are sweet, nice yep. and clean. These are. Uh, these are pretty sweet, man. I got to thank my wife for getting these when they came out. Absolutely. And these are uh, 600 right now on StockX. So, yeah. Well, my number and six is the Jordan 1 Top 3. Uh, I love those, man. Those, those are a great shoe. And it, it's and some of the original I'm Jordans. I get back. Yeah, yeah I, was, um, I was just going to say some of the original Jordans, like the ones, even the twos, threes, uh, they were just so comfortable. You know, so and and it's just a great, sh another great casual shoe that you can wear anytime with anything. You know, it's a, it's it's a great, and I love that right. colorway too. Oh, the ones definitely, hundred yeah. percent. So uh, this is what me and Jake were getting about before. Somebody had ones on. Wear wear them loose, guys. Wear them loose. Yeah. Don't don't yeah, don't tighten these bad hang. boys up. You're gonna you're gonna kill you're gonna kill this tongue here. And I love yeah. the feel of a Jordan one. Tongue. Oh yeah. Uh, it's just something. Oh about yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like but, like the uh, inside of a backpack or something. I can't describe it. Like a sleeping bag. Yeah, bro. It's it's like I don't I don't know. It's just yeah. It's, love, love it. that. Love it. Yeah. There, there we are. The Jordan One top threes. Yeah, man. Very very hard very hard sneaker to get. To oh yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. So for the finale for um for this for me, um uh, my number six, I have to go with. One of my favorite uh, players of all time, and one of my favorite shoes of all time. This I didn't know where to put this one, but I had to put it in here. 
so I'm going with it. The Reebok Kamikaze 2, Sean Kemp. So, obviously, I'm the Sean Kemp of wrestling figure collecting. Uh, I also collect his shoes. Um, Now, the Reebok Kamikaze, uh, the first ones were really cool. Um, The second ones, which is this, this model, is just such a great sneaker i mean it's just it's so 90s you know what i mean oh, just the zigzag design and just the uniqueness of it but uh i remember i collected basketball cards as a kid and i remember seeing sean kemp and like uh you remember nba inside stuff well, the magazine course, with you know yeah ahmad rashad and all well, that. Ahmad rashad, <laughs> yeah. Man, shit. yeah 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 i mean i used to watch the you know that on inside stuff on the weekends and all that but uh, oh the best you know oh, it was it was <laughs> but uh you know i had the uh the like upper deck and tops trading cards basketball cards i collected those and i remember seeing sean kemp on on a card in his songs jersey duncan and and his his shoes were like both one was this way one was that way and i'm like damn those are sick <laughs> and i always wanted these shoes i saw them in the stores and you know they were probably 100 120 bucks back then and you know we didn't have the money for that stuff so never got them but uh i think it was about 2013 or 14 these finally re-released and that's when i got these so these are these are from 2014 i believe man and, uh, eight years old the, oh yeah they look fucking brand new, the, bro. and this yeah and this is and I've wore these. I mean, if you can see, you can see the toe. It's it's a little crease there, right. but but I mean they're clean, and that that's what Mike and I are talking about. You gotta you gotta keep. Your, I mean, look at the, that's all. you know, you gotta, you gotta take take care of them, you know. And uh, but you know, th- this shoe just meant so much to me as a kid, and it just brings back so many memories. So and then like I was saying, Sean Kemp was just a huge inspiration to me as a child, uh, just watching him. You know, especially in 95, 96, when they went up against the Bulls in the playoffs and all that, uh, or the finals, I should say. Um, but uh, I actually, they at one took, point, they took the L. Uh... Yes, they did. But uh, just like, just like, like I did like my in, the major, <laughs> in the major fitness challenge. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Twice. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Now, let uh, me ask you a question, Jake. Yeah. They, they look a little, are they clunky or are they comfortable? They're they actually, look a little big. They look big. You would think they are, but they, dude, they are super comfortable. Um, okay. I mean, if you look inside, you can see there's a lot of cushioning. It's kind of hard because okay. it's, it's dark and plus right. I got a window Black behind me. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, they're very, very comfortable. Um, and they, I mean, patent leather. It's just ugh, great. I mean, shoe. those and those then, are those are straight up ninety high tops right there. Oh yeah, yeah. And then at the bottom, these had like like they had the hex light. Reebok technology was, which was like oh, similar wow. to the, like the air pack that Nike was doing, but they did this in the sole in the bottom here. Now, gotcha. uh, Reebok came out with a shit ton of colorways uh, after they released these because these were selling like crazy in 2014. So, uh, me being the completest that I am, at one point I actually had every colorway of the Reebok Kamikaze 2s. Uh, there was 26 pairs. I had all 26. Oh, shit. Wow. And uh, I'm down to, I, I believe, four now. I, I sold oh, wow, okay. I sold 22 of them. So uh, I kept my that's favorite your, ones. That's your favorite colorway? <sighs> no, it's not. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, my favorite colorway is going to be in the top, in the top, in, in the next video. Ooh, actually, stay so. tuned. Yeah, and they're they're extremely rare. Uh, not, not that many people know about. I mean, I don't want to say, like, they're like the rarest shoe in the world. They're not, you know, you can get them for sure. But uh, as far as being like a Reebok guy or, or Kamikaze guy, for that matter, they're pretty, pretty tough to get and uh, very, very unique colorway and a lot of cool materials. So I'll show that one to you guys uh, on the next video. But this definitely just brings back so many memories. That's why I've been spending the last 10 minutes talking about it. But, um, you know, it's just just a great great shoe and yeah, the same I mean, thing that's, it's it's that's it's something you can wear with anything I mean, we're, too you know we're collectors so right but we're, we're collectors and look look uh, a sneaker what, what it brings back to you you know you know right it's the same yeah. thing with wrestling figures same it, it'll it all comes full circle here right i do remember those they had one in uh sonic's green right yes <laughs> you're gonna sleep about that boy <laughs> you know it <laughs> yeah so yeah they, they did they had the um, yeah, the actual, uh, when the Sonics got the new jerseys, um, they had one, it was like all green with the red, 
uh, and then it had like yellow highlights. Yeah, I, I had those. I, I had those as well. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I sold those. those. Those were a little goofy looking because it's, it's like dark green, like hunter green, you know, and with the like. Right. It's it hard like to wear. Blood, it was like a blood red with yellow. Yeah. It was just like, eh, these really don't go with anything. And then same thing. You wear the jersey with those that like perfectly matches. It's, you just look goofy. So it's <laughs> a little too much. Right. Yeah, Maybe to much. the basketball game. That's about it. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's just like uh, with anything, you know, we buy, we sell. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, Same thing, and you, and you keep what you love, you know, you know, you, exactly. you know. So it's just it's just one of those things. But uh, uh, I haven't bought any kicks in a while. I think I think I need to get back on the shoe train. Because you know? <laughs> there's a, there is a pair that you you know which which ones they are. I'm just gonna say it the uh, the, con, the, the Concord 11 Jordans that I can't believe I've never owned those. They've been my favorite shoes since I was you know when, well, I think they came out when I was 12. You know? <laughs> my my see those in the next episode. We, we, yeah. Maybe yeah I'm maybe sure maybe we'll, we'll both have them. Who knows maybe <laughs> you never know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, right. uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode of In Your House. A little something different. Yeah. And we're going to come back with our uh, five through one. Yep. Top five. And uh, and then we'll go back to our regularly scheduled program. Yes, sir. Well, thank you guys for joining. We appreciate it. We hope you loved our kicks. And we hope you are collecting as well. And, uh, you know, we would love to hear and see what you guys um, are, are doing with your with your kicks as well. So leave some comments and uh, yeah, guys. let us know. Yeah. Thanks yeah, for the it... subs. And if you're not Absolutely. sub, please sub, guys. I mean, yeah. it's just a button. Uh, a little, just click it. A little click, a little like, a little comment. We, we, yeah. we appreciate it. Absolutely. Mike, go ahead and take us out. Well, this time I'm going to do a little something different. Clean your kicks. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Brother. Peace. Yeah.